In this tutorial, we're going to talk about three really cool tool sets for controlling the uh, corners of different objects. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to draw a square. So I'm going to hold down my control key, and that will allow me to draw a perfectly constrained square. Now if you don't hold down the control key, notice how this rectangle tool will just draw a rectangle. But it, once I click control, it does it basically constrains that rectangle and makes it a perfect square. So now that we've done that, notice when I let go, we have three different options here that are new to this workspace in Corel X5. Now these aren't entirely new features, they've just been really hidden in some of the drop-down menus in Corel. And I'm really glad that they brought that to the forefront, um, because uh, before, if you didn't know where to find those tools, you'd have uh, a great deal of challenge really controlling the, uh, the corners on different objects. So what we're going to do now to activate those particular uh, three uh, styles is I'm going to go ahead and activate my shape tool. And once I click on the shape tool, I can click on a style. Maybe we want to go to scalloped corner. I can go ahead and click in any one of the uh, corners here. Just left mouse click and hold down the left mouse button. And I'm just going to drag. So I can drag and uh, position to create the scallop that I so desire. And notice when I let go, now we have a scalloped corner um, uh, design element. So this is a great way to take ordinary and basic shapes and create a little dimension and do that very easily using the shape tool and these new uh, uh, functions that are brought forward in the workspace in Corel Draw X5. And of course I can go to a rounded corner and give that dimension as well. So for creating buttons, for creating just basic background elements, these are really, really useful tools.